In this video, we're going to look at the best way to level up gold hoarders to 75. Check out our Discord in the description where you can find some awesome people to sell with. The first step you need to take is to come and raise the emissary flag. This will not only give you a cash multiplier, but once you reach grade 5, you will be rewarded with some awesome voyages. Now these voyages will give you captain's chests. In order to raise this flag, you need to come to this table, which is located next to the gold hoarders, and then simply just cast your vote. So what you need to do now is go and buy some gold holder voyagers and simply vote for them. We are now going to cherry pick the best ones and not going to bother with ones that are either riddles or have one X on the map. Also, if you are solo slooping, I highly recommend going against bigger islands. You don't want to go there because it takes too long. Try and keep to medium to small size islands as it's been much quicker for you. Don't worry if you run out of voyagers as you can either wait till the next morning or sail to a new outpost and there should be some there for you. Now, once you've found the voyages that have two to three X marks the spots on the map, you now need to optimize this route. You want to make sure that you know where you're going and in which order you're going there. This will help speed things up a lot. You also need to know what island you can sail to next if there's a ship at the island that you want to go to because you don't want to risk losing what you've just gained. So it's always better to have a backup plan. And if you still can't get back to that island, then just forget it and move on. If the mech spawns, then make sure to take it on, as well as the skelly sloops because they do tend to drop skelly captain's chests, which are worth a fair bit. So they are definitely worth the hassle. Also, if you see mermaid gems, they are worth a shiny penny to the gold hoarders. Now this all adds up when you want those levels. This is why if you see the meg or see skelly ships around, then you are definitely going to want to sink them because they will drop mermaid gems or captain's chests, so it's worth a lot. But do remember, if you feel that combat isn't your best suit, then don't risk it. There are alternatives. You can join a Discord, which is one in the link below, or you can find alliances to help you out and defeat these. When you reach grade 5, you can now claim the special voyage from Gold Hoarders. So go ahead over there and collect the quests. You are definitely going to want to complete all these maps because they do reward you well. Once you have completed these special quests though, you can either decide to continue to do the normal quests at grade 5, or I suggest selling all your items to the Gold Hoarders, lower your MSNO flag, and then re-raise it so you can start from the beginning and then you can once again regain those quests. Hit that subscribe button for more CFE's guides and gameplays and also click a video appearance screen right now, you might enjoy it.